All right, so I've been doing some work with CK Editor, which is basically a really nice rich text editor um, that works really well. It's really easy to install, works with jQuery, really nice. Um, I've customized the header a little bit, but I'm running into some issues. Basically what I'm trying to do is uh, I'm trying to make, and actually let me pull up this comp from last time. Uh, that'll help. Yeah, that should be it. Okay, so I'm trying to make, um, can I scroll in here? No. Oh, awesome. I'm trying to do this part, okay? And I'm trying to give the user the ability to enter this information in. Okay. Now, I don't want to have to have them format this every single time because it's going to be automatically formatted by the website. So you might say, okay, well, I'll just give them this box and they'll type everything in and I'll tell the user just to bold it and then that'll turn into what they want. Well, that's not really a good solution for the user. I mean, the user's going to get confused. They're going to think it's going to be in a white background and you're just going to have to have all these messages telling them. So we want to change the background of this box and we want to change the font of this box by default. Okay. Um, there's also another annoying thing I'll tell you about in a second. But so uh, CK Editor is a really advanced API. Okay. Uh, somewhere on here. Okay. Really advanced API. A lot going on here. I read through a lot, and I wasn't able to actually figure out how to change that kind of stuff. You can, with CK Editor, you can grab the main CK variable. So, uh, well, first thing we have to do is, in order to act with CK Editor at all, you need to have it loaded already. So I figured out that if you throw a function in here, into the, your, your CK Editor um, jQuery start, then you can actually, um, I'll just say here, um, It'll actually, and I'll just pull Firebug up for a second. It'll actually, once it converts it to a text area, it'll then fire that. So that's perfect. That means the iframe exists. And if you don't know how CK Editor works, it uses an iframe and turns content editable uh, on. Uh, I don't know. Oh, yeah. It's on the body here. So it turns the body of the iframe on content editable. That's how it works. Um, so that's pretty cool. So in order to change this background color, okay, um, you actually have to add, so if I just say edit a new attribute, style background color black, right? That does it. That's what I want to see. But there's not really a way with the API to do this. Um, if the developers ever end, up ever end up watching this and can tell me where it is in the API, great. I'll tell you what I tried to do. Um, there you have the global CK editor variable with CK editor, right? So CK editor, right? So if I console.log this, that's going to give me um, this giant, ah, right? It's got everything in it. So I can do CK editor dot document dot dot get body, which is a function they give you, right? And that's going to give us a body object, which is not really the body, right? So an object, and supposedly I can do dot set style. Um, and I can say background color, and then if I do pound ff one two three four, that sh this should uh, give me, and I'll just take this out of the log. This should turn the background red. What it ends up doing though is turning the entire page, which means it's getting the wrong body, and I don't know how to get the right body from it. So I just went my own way, and I'm going to show you that now. Basically, the first thing I have to do is get the document. Well, once I'm at this point, I know there's only one iframe on the page, so I can say the var doc, being the document, is going to be equal to get the iframe on the page, zero, because there's only one, and that gets the DOM element now of the iframe, dot content document. Content document is a JavaScript property, not a jQuery property. So if I console.log the doc, okay, now the document that I have is a DOM document object, okay, about colon blank, which is this. Um, again, to note, I didn't, not again, but to note, you can't do what I'm about to do if you don't own the iframe. We own the iframe since it's on our page, it's an about colon blank, okay, just note that. Otherwise, you can't do this. Anyway, um, so the next thing we're going to do is set the CSS, which is really, so we're going to get the body, which, um, to get the body of um, of a document, of a raw JavaScript document, is you do document, well, in this case, doc.body, and that actually gets you the body element, right? So if I go ahead and do um, console.log doc.body, and again, we're not working with jQuery right now, we're working with JavaScript. 
and that's going to give me the body and this is the body that I wanted so now now we can go back into jQuery we don't have to but we can go back into jQuery now and say okay let's wrap this into jQuery element so now we've got a jQuery reference to that body dot CSS throw that in this guy and then we're going to set what we want we want to set our default font family to Arial oops that's the wrong syntax we want to set our font size to our default which is on this site 11 pixels and we want to set a default font color which on this is orange okay and now with that refresh and now I've got once it loads no did I not dock that body let's just make sure I got that right CSS da 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 dock that body that should be fine let's make sure we get that JavaScript element correct uh, console.log wrap it dock dot body that may not be right though it should be yeah that's right oh yeah I just didn't do the background color huh background oops background color the rest was already done actually so that was working just fine so if I oh, again wrong syntax sorry about that I forgot to do the background color that's what happened so now if I refresh it when it loads up there's our black and if I start typing oh that's right because I suck at CSS it's not font color it's color and refresh again hey there we go okay so now we got our sites color and we'll do that now there's a really annoying thing happening when I hit enter it makes these giant spaces and I tell you what these giant spaces are not correct when you I mean when you hit enter it does not make a giant space like that yes you can come in here and hold shift enter and then start typing but I don't want to tell my user to do that my user's not going to know to do that trust me they're not going to do that so we need to alter the p tag okay now we're going to get in some so let me actually explain why that happens the default p tag has margins right so these are p tags right they default have some margins so see the c up there the the pad has actually padding or is it margin? I don't know, whatever. It's padding or margin. I forget what the colors mean. Um, maybe we can get a layout here. Uh, no, not going to tell me. 11 margin. Okay, so it's got, a, it's got margin on it. Okay? And that's just default for HTML. So what we need to do is add a CSS style rule. Now, you're thinking to yourself, well, how do I get a CSS style rule? I only have access to the body. These p tags don't exist yet. You're right. We're going to do some more raw JavaScript here. Now that we have the document element, we're going to use some raw JavaScript to insert a style rule onto the default style sheet. So we're going to console.log just so I can, so you follow along here. Uh, we're going to get doc.stylesheets with capital S zero. <clears throat> this is going to get the first style sheet of the page. Let me log that out so you see that that actually is something for real. Okay, style sheet content.css. If you click it, there's no rules in it. Okay, this is a default style sheet that goes towards documents. Again, there's nothing in it. We are going to add something to it. So style sheet zero dot insert rule. Okay, again, this is raw JavaScript. This is not jQuery. You can't say that enough. Okay, now we're inserting a rule. Um, this is a really simple rule to insert. We're going to do p and put some brackets. Okay, this is just now we're just doing straight CSS. And I'm just going to set margin to zero pixels okay there's actually one more parameter that I have to do um, which is the position on the page and that's gonna be zero okay insert rule takes two parameters the rule and then the position of the rule okay so again I don't need to log this anymore I'm gonna get rid of that now what this is gonna do again it's gonna set the margin of p tags for this document to zero save refresh okay and now when I type and I hit enter it goes to the next line. And now if I want to hit two lines, enter, enter. Okay? And again, all that did is just set a style sheet rule so that the margin is now zero. Okay? So just a quick couple lessons here. This is how we used CK Editor. We kind of went around the API to alter the DOM document body, and then we learned how to insert rules on style sheets using raw JavaScript.